guys, it's Rob here from Dodge Fasky in for PluginBoutique.com. Um, today I'm going to be doing a short video on Zeta Plus 2 by Cakewalk. Now, Zeta Plus, um, the original version of it was actually the synth that we used to make a lot of the early Dodge Fasky tunes. They're tunes like Porn Step and, um, and Fierce and stuff like that were all actually made using this synth if you're familiar with our early work um anyway either way i'm going to crack straight onto a few examples of the synth in action and then i'm going to run through some of the features so all i've got running on the synth is completely dry i'm not using any external synths uh plugins anything like that um i'm just using volume shaper 4 which is also available through plugin boutique uh that's just going to change the envelope um so I, so i can i'm using it as a mix tool basically so that when the drums and the example come in it's like sidechain ducking uh so the mix down you can get an idea of how it sounds but it's you know there's no like distortion compression anything right so first of all very quick dubstep example so very crude but kind of 2010 kind of dubstep sound i've got two sounds running here from zeta And then I made a kind of an offbeat skank thing. These are just very basic sounds that I made from scratch. Um, then the other idea, the next one I have here, is a kind of a big roomy house kind of thing that I adapted from a preset. And as you can hear again, there's a volume shape on this as well, kind of pumping when it when it stopped there, you could hear around the drums. But yeah, no other processing running on that. Um, um, so those are kind of ideas of quickly how it could be used for different kind of stuff. And then for making kind of evolving soundscapes, I found this synth really good as well. Um, again, I'm going to go into details of, of uh, some sound design in a second, but I just want to give you an overview of its versatility. Uh, this is using actually one of the complete factory presets, and all I've done is I've automated some of the parameters and made a very simple two-note arpeggio sequence, but two root notes triggering the internal arpeggiator to make a kind of little moviescape type thing. So as you can hear, it's quite a rich sounding synth. There's a lot of versati versatility to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a very basic sound from scratch to show you some ideas of how I would use it. Okay, so the synth is kind of divided into two core pages, which is synth parameters and effects pages. There's a dedicated effects page, um, which are different effects compressors, and they can all, a nice new feature in this version, they can all be like changed very easily graphically the order that they're in. Uh, which is very neat. Um, so you've got distortion, different modes of distortion, compression, reverb, uh, a really good EQ. It's like kind of very old kind of paragraphic sound, you know, old EQ uh, sound, very sharp and aggressive. Uh, there's various types of modulation like chorus and phasing and the delay units. Obviously, this is quite a short video. I'm not going to have time to go through everything, but just to give you an overview. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize the patch first. So I'm going to go to Program Initialize, and just like Massive, it's quite. I love since to have this because a lot of them actually don't have it, where you can just start with effectively a blank patch, or you know, Massive would start just with a saw. This starts with literally nothing. So I'm going to just whack in a saw wave as my first oscillator. You get up to six oscillators, and then there's performance controls which relate to all of them, um, things like portamento mode, all this kind of stuff. So I've got a basic saw. And you've got different envelope generators and LFO generators here. Now, the one that I'm going to look at here is just the um, amp envelope generator. So at the moment, it just kind of stays as it is. You can do um, different things. So you could make, uh, you know, different kind of um, of different types of envelopes. And, um, you know, you can put delay on it and usual kind of stuff, release up. You know, not particularly interesting, just kind of standard. So... I'm going to leave it as a, just a, a tone there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to root this one directly 
just the same as massive actually you can, you can flip between the two filters and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a low pass filter get a bit of resonance going and I'm going to use the modulation matrix so the way it uses for mapping these stuff is a matrix so you select your source which is the first default one is yeah LFO one uh, you then go to your destination which is going to be filters and just go to all filters cut off and then you can put a range that's effectively the sort of send amount and then you need um, obviously the LFO speed you can set up all types of LFOs here there's like all sorts of different LFOs that you can use for this so I'm gonna use a standard sign do it manually and what you can do here is there's there's, um, there's sync modes here that can um, sync to your LFO sync the LFOs to your host sequencer or and there's also like a phase beginning so it will start either if it's on free mode it will constantly keep going through this depending on when when you know you bit of pot light or you can set it what degree through this you want the LFO to start so you can get different kind of sounds like that um, and I'm going to get another oscillator here and put it two octaves again map it all through the first LFO I'm going to turn that level this one down and that's how you're getting that kind of 2010 dubstep sound out of it like that obviously it's not just limited to that but I thought this would be a quick way to kind of show you playing around with the synth but as you've seen from the other examples there's quite a bit of diversity um, in the synth here so the, the patch that I picked here was just from the factory uh, library and I just kind of tweaked it put on the volume shape which I'll turn off now just to play with and um, I'm just going to go through a couple of random sounds just so you can have a listen so I'm going to go through uh, the showcase folder because there's some cool stuff in here so there's a lot of cool arpeggiated stuff which can be uh, played with here and you can make your own patterns and stuff like that and, or you can you know import MIDI files um, lots of cool stuff like that so yeah some of the filters are really good for that kind of old school sounding sounds as well so yeah ultimately pretty versatile synth I think it's particularly good for getting kind of retro tones out of but very very versatile hopefully as this little video is demonstrated so yeah hopefully this video has been of some use and you've got an idea of the kind of uh, versatility and uses that you can get out of Zeta uh, version 2 cool thanks this has been Rob from Dodge and Fusky and for PluginBoutique.com yeah.